Well, a toast then. To Simon and Fiona. To Simon and Fiona. I'll drink for that. <laughs> what a shame, my father is here. And Daddy's playing golf and you're down in London. Well, I wish you luck. And I suppose this time this whole mess was sorted out, but if you weren't doing us any favors, you'd be fine with me. Dad? No. No. You could have been in love. Right, but that's the way you feel about things that doesn't matter. But don't bring a word of this to any of the others, because if you screw anything up for us, I will never forgive you. Engaged. As for marrying her, I shall only believe that when I see him put the wedding ring on her finger. Well, what sort of type is she then? 
Now, come on, you know her so well. Is she going to hurt Simon? Is that it? Is, is she going to leave him for the older man? Is that what you're trying to do? Oh, that is a pit that that happens. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I wish it wasn't Simon. And I wish you were a million miles away. Look, Julian, I don't know what happened between you two, but you can't hold it against her forever. Can't I? You used to be such good friends. But things change. Look, as far as I can see, and I may be nice you are. She loves your brother, and he loves her. <coughs> Just hope it lasts. Well, it won't if they'll make mistakes like they all do, but they'll work it out. I wish I had as much faith in them as you do. It's got nothing to do with faith, though, is it? All right. He knows what he wants, Charles. You were exactly the same. Don't you remember telling me that the first time you met me, you knew I'd been your wife? Come on. That is different. Why? Does it side me because he's not you? Oh, that's not fair, Charles. Don't you see how glad he is? Let it drop, Mom. But it's important. Look, can we just wait until we see what happens when he goes up to Durham? Let's not make any plans before we have to. Plan for these? Plan for what? It's my fault, Simon. I ran the marquee higher place. I only wanted a rough idea, that's all. So? Well, my father and Judith think it's all a bit premature. Really? What did the hard place say? They um, gave some details in post. Yeah. It's still on them, isn't it? Yes, why shouldn't it be? Yes, it does, come on, fucking way. Is it for piano one? Yep, she wants whatever I want. Lucky you. Oh, please don't start figuring you two. It'll be your turn next, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting mad, it's complete farce of last week. You know, I don't know what happened between her and Fiona, but she's being impossible. Making them very difficult. You'll have to talk to her, Charles. What does she like? Amanda. Yeah. I mean, what does she look like? No, I mean, I know what she looks like. What kind of person is she? Well, she's a bit of a cop. I mean, she never really spoke to me much. There was something nice about her, but she thought she was someone special. Well, of course she was. But it's difficult to say as well as me. I need to know. Oh, of she was special. What sort of person men fall in love with, you know? She just happened to fall in love with a brother. She didn't know it was a half brother. I felt really sorry for her. She did everything she could to try and stop it, but she just couldn't. And Neil, did she ever really love him? I wish she could say no, but I can't. Well, Wayne, he will. She's only trying to find a so that can get a divorce. It's you he loves now. It's not like he loves her. Mr. Thompson, I don't believe it. Is anyone sitting here? Right. This is incredible. What are you doing here? Where are you going? 